What is up YouTube? Today is Air Max Day and just because of today being Air Max Day I want to give you guys a quick uh, story about my Air Maxes and uh, my Air Max story basically. I've had friends who would rock Air Max 90s. I, I, I always would see people with Air Max 90s and I, and I felt like it was, it was a dope shoot. I really like how it looked. It looked really comfortable. Everybody asked how they, how they were comfort wise. Everybody would tell me they're really lightweight and comfortable. And every time I would try them on, they would look bulky on me. So I was like, uh, I'm not really feeling them. Uh, I'll give you a backstory on how I got my pair, but just in case you don't know, this right here is the Air Max One Ultra More. I'm not even gonna try to correct myself because I don't know, not know how to pronounce that. Uh, this is a, I guess you can say, an updated version of the classic Air Max One of the Nike Air Max One. If you don't know the story behind the Air Max, it is Tinker Hatfield's Tinker Hatfield's first design with the visible air unit, which is the air bubble. Um, this shoe, his first shoe ever to come out with the air unit was uh, this model, not this particular shoe, but this this particular model, and it came out in 1987, March 26, which is now known as Air Max Day, as far as last year when it first became known as Air Max Day. Uh, this year, Nike is doing this big thing in Los Angeles where they're having a pop-up shop to celebrate the one before the one, which was the Air Max Zero. Provide a picture right here so you guys can check it out. But yeah, I'm not really interested in those. This right here is actually my favorite Air Max model at the moment. Maybe it's because the only model that I have right now. But that will change soon. I'm definitely going to pick up another pair in a couple months. I'm going to double up on these because these are really comfortable. They look really great with anything. Uh, this is basically my everyday shoe right now. You can rock this with anything, everywhere, anywhere. And I beat these to shit as you can tell. Um, but yeah, enough about that. So... The way I got into Air Maxes was basically, I seen these online, I had seen pictures of these online, and one day I was just shopping around, looking around the store, and I happened to see these at Champ Sports. And um, the, the reason why I, I, see, I, I had uh, try, decided to try them on was because I seen them online and I, and I thought they looked really good. So when I got to Champ Sports, shout out to Champ Sports if you're watching, I uh, ended up, it was, it, was, it was either these or a pair of Air Max 90s. And for some reason, these caught my attention a little more. I don't know if they make the model a little sleeker. They do look a little slimmer than the older uh, Air Max ones. But I ended up going with these. I had asked my girlfriend if it was if these or the or the Air Max 90s were better. And of course, she's gonna go with the option that I didn't want. So I ended up going with the Air Max one, and it was a great op a great choice. A uh, really lightweight, really comfortable shoe. Wear this every day. I can wear it to work. I work at a retail store, so I'm sitting around for eight hours a day sometimes. And it's it's just comfortable. Like I, I I can't say anything else but about it. Uh, the design on this shoe it's really it's really good because I I still get people even with the, how dirty they are I still get people turning their heads and looking at them. And even when I wear, wear them like this, people are like, oh, what type? What shoe is that? Well, I've never seen that color. And then I point them to the right direction and they're finding it. So if you're still looking for a pair of Air Maxes, definitely recommend copying the Air Max One Ultra more. It is a really comfortable shoe, a really great looking shoe, and they're still online and available at any retailer. Oh, not any really retailer. I know I've seen them at Finish Line, Chic, Champs, and I think some Foot Lockers. So yeah, that's it. my Air Max story. If you guys want to know more, you guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Also, let me know what you guys think about the Air Max. So you guys, which Air Max model is your favorite? I've been wanting to try the Air Max 95s, but I'm not really sure how I feel about that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And peace. Go ahead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. See you guys next time.